We need something to bust the shields. <laughs> Fire in a hole! <laughs> Idiot. Give me that. Fire in a hole! Hello friends, hello YouTube, how are you guys doing? Rainbow here with another Blaster video. Yes, I know it's been a while since the last Blaster video, but obviously, you know, we're busy move and then holiday and then all the work and all the things. Um, but yeah, you'll see more why this took so long on this very channel, so stay tuned for that. But here we are, back again with a video that's been long overdue. <laughs> this thing here got sent to me by my good friend Alpha from the German Nerve Modding community. Shout out to Alpha, legend as always. And um, you know, quick side note, really sorry this video took so long. Um, the reason for that is this box got to me when we moved house and then it kind of just got sort of lost in the moving pile of boxes. And I just sort of found it just, um, you know, yeah, shame on me. Anyway, so this is meant to be a dog ball launcher, like a tennis ball, softball you know, throwing aid kind of thing. Um, I've did some research on this and I believe the original product is called the Flamingo Bazooka uh, Shooter Tennis Ball Launcher. This, however, is not one of them. If you, if I look at the sticker here, there's a, you know, a little sticker there. And um, it says that it's been manufactured by or for a German company that is kind of like a pet shop kind of thing. So it's a replica of the Flamingo. However, on that website, this one is not available anymore. Uh, the Flamingo thing itself, under the same name, is still available. Now, what does this do? Normally, you know, you have storage for two balls here. And, oh, it's not gonna get better, is it? It doesn't matter. And um, yeah, and then you can launch it. You pull this back, there's a spring inside that you can hear. Oh, I did accidentally prime it. There we go. Can this deep prime? Oh yeah, it can actually deep prime quite nicely. So you prime this um, massive spring in here, and by the sounds of it, like this thing is loud. So fair warning to all headphone users out there already, this thing is loud, so be aware. Um, and yeah, and so then the bolt here that you can see there, right, this kind of just sort of when a prime goes backwards and then when you release, it just jumps back forward and then hits on the ball and then throws it out. Uh, however, we don't use balls in our hobby we use something different. And reason why we always like big rocket grenade ball launchers like this is because, you know, we need something to bust shields or hit uh, super zombies or whatever we're playing. And our game is always shields. You gotta bust shields, right? And so we have the rule that sort of bigger projectiles, you know, they're gonna break shields or even take people out of the game completely. So it's always handy, you know, if someone rocks a shield or like a fully body armor, massive tank kind of play style, you know, to have something to work against that. But on the other hand, you don't want it to hurt too much because shooting tennis balls at high velocity is flipping painful. Um, so anyways, Alpha made these things. Now, these are actually, I think, the pure, the pure gem of this video, by the way. So these are homemade uh, foam, soft, squishy from all sort of angles, projectiles to bust shields and, you know, count, I think in our games, they would count as a grenade, so six points. So that'll be a, you know, get hit by this and you're out kind of thing, go back to respawn. So as far as I'm aware, this are, these are his first creations or first uh, working generation of um, projectile. I think by now he has uh, evolved from this a little bit, but in, Nutshell, what is this? This is kind of like a soft foam. I think this is from like a pool noodle kind of thing with a, you know, bit more of a tube on the inside or something that gives it stability because otherwise you could sort of bend it here, which you can't. I should put it that way to the camera. And then the front is a very, very squishy, it could be a stress ball, feels like a stress ball, kind of like a rubbery thing packed with rice or something, but not really rice because it's actually not really hard. It's super squishy, but it gives it some weight. So they're super, they're very, they're very front heavy. Um, I'd see that, you know, helps with the flight and everything. And then, you know, it socks on the round and then on the back here, there is a, a tip that's glued to it. There we go. And this is where the bolt hits and then it, you know, gets launched away. Um, 
And you know, if you want to know more how these are made, um, I think Alpha is on Facebook. I'm going to link his account and his he posts on on the forums and on the Facebook groups about how he makes these every now and then. So yeah, go check it out now. How do these work together? So um, first of all, I had to try out, and it does work. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Not sure if it's intended to be like this, but there you go. All right. This thing itself is very, you know, basic. I don't have to go over it. Oh, well, I did already. And now let's prime this all the way back. It has some issues catching sometimes, but if you pull it up, you're kind of pulling it away from the cat. So now extended, this is very long. And uh, now you're gonna put a projectile in the front, a little rocket there, and then you go to fire. And because these things are super heavy, I'm a little bit afraid of the shooting my target box right over here. So I'm going to shoot my chair, which is kind of sitting over there outside the picture. Um, this is an interesting endeavor because I kind of feel like you want to shoot it from the hip like this, but then you have to make sure that the priming bar kind of goes back here. This is awkward. Um, aiming is a kind of a thing like this. I'm, going, I'm afraid that I'm going to get hit in the back of the shoulder with that. Um, and also this is very loud. However, we're just going to try it like, no, we're not going to try. You're going to try it like this. No, you're not going to see it. Ugh. All right, we do. All right, fire in the hole. <laughs> All right, let's do that again. Um, you know, just for looks, we're keeping this here. I got more of those. Now let's try a different one. This is so going to hurt. Fire in the hole. Oh, fuck, that was loud. I am super sorry. All right, now that you've seen the firing in here, um, the most interesting question is how accurate are these things? How accurate is this? How much power does come out of so much noise? <laughs> and um, so what can we, can we actually hit something with it when we're outside? Therefore, I'm going to take this thing out uh, in the garden and uh, have some help. All right, here we are with some outdoor range tests. We're in our garden and I, you know, chose my lovely helpers. So we've got one behind the camera, which is Danny. And I got our friend Jörg over there holding the shield because we're testing a shield buster. So let's see um, how accurate this thing is. Um, he's about 10 meters away from me. And uh, let's see if we can do this. <laughs> that was cute. Uh, let's try this again. All right. <laughs> There's a stepping closer. There we go. All right. So I think total range, if we look at it, um, can you move just out of the way? This is going to be just the range thing. So we're about here. If you wouldn't have stopped that, I probably would have gone like 12, 13, 15 meters. So I wasn't quite bad on my initial um, thoughts on that. Let's do another one. Ah, okay. All right. So um, as we thought, surprisingly accurate. So like because of the weight, the, the, the travel was pretty straight. You saw that on the camera. However, range is an issue. I don't think that we can put any more weight behind this because the time already is um, quite heavy, but definitely fun to use. So back to the studio. Now you've seen how these things perform outside and in the wild and in real life action. So it's kind of what I assumed they would do from shooting it down my hallway. It's, it's a little bit hiss or miss on the accuracy. The range, however, like with a prime this big, um, feels like it should be more, but then again, like, you know, it's a super, super big and relatively heavy projectile. Um, this thing definitely is not going to get used in like long range sort of combat, but I can see this working so, so well in CQB scenarios. Um, you know, when you have like not that much to go to cover, when you have like corners. So in our games, for instance, laser tag arenas, um, or, or paintball arenas, you know, even outdoor, you know, if you have a couple of, if you couple of houses or containers, um, and you know, you'd max distance, engage distance is kind of like 10, 15 meters. These things could actually be really fun and could actually be really useful. And, you know, considering that you kind of just need to have one on your team to carry one of them along with a couple of things. And when a juggernaut or a shield, you know, comes up to you, this guy just needs to go, whoa, bam, that actually, you know, seems viable. And if not, they're just a whole lot of fun to shoot anyway. So, um, you know, this is, this is might just be the, the one thing why you want to do this so much is because this whole like, <laughs> just feels so, so good. And it's just so much fun.
You missed. <laughs> Take two. It isn't as easy as it looks. <laughs> so ridiculous. All right. Thanks, Alpha, for sending this my way. And again, sorry that this took longer than expected. Um, these things will now be sent back to you for more tinkering and for more updating. I have had a lot of fun playing with this, and I can't wait till our next game. When uh, and then I hope that you know I either bring a big enough shield, or uh, I'm, I'm the one to get to use this against the shield. That will be so much fun. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys very much. As always, if you're already subscribed, legend, make sure to hit the bell, hit the thumbs up for the algorithm, subscribe if you haven't, and until I see you next time, happy morning, happy nerfing, love and sunshine.